What up, AVG crew? I'm DJ. I'm Alan, and here we are again with this game, this cool. thing on our brains. Let's do it. Someone told me that the, the, the like, glass that I keep walking by, there actually is a thing there. <laughs> the one that I keep saying, like, why do you keep going there? There's nothing there. Why do you keep there. going there, dude? Okay, there's glass. All of his co-workers were gone. So what, what is, what, what's Stan there? What can you to do? To the meeting room. Someone said I had to, like, climb up on this desk or something. Can you jump? Whoa, I can duck? Move left strafe. Oh, okay. Control to duck. I don't see jump. Yeah, no jump. Oh! Whoa. Oh, there's stuff down here. Okay, nothing. Whoa, really I can really <gasps> duck, dude. They said I, I could be able to pop out here. That sounds like a glitch thing. No, nah, I don't pull a, like, Super Mario 64 glitch through the wall. Dude, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna glitch through this wall. Yahoo! Jump, 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 Yahoo! And that's how you get up the stairs. Okay, I don't know. I'll figure it out next time. Well, uh, what endings, what, what haven't we tried yet in this game? Well, we haven't done the actual, have we done the actual good boy ending? No. Or did we ever pick up the phone? Did we start no. doing bad boy ending? Oh yeah, there was a, f oh yeah, let's, let's pick up the phone. Okay, wait, let's, let's actually be good boys. Okay, we can be good boys all the way up to that point where you screwed up and hit the, the wrong button. Center, he entered the door on his left. Oh yeah, of course he did. He sure did, did that's it. what he did. I'm a good, this is a good boy run. Oh shoot, do you remember the passcode? Oh, it was Two, eight, four, five. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley two, eight, was four, once five? again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who or Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to I like just get bad. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. We did the part way through the bad Getting ending, and then we went and, and became good boys that Stanley one time too, and we didn't forward. do what he told it us that time. Open. Yeah, okay. there's a lot of things. Did we okay. go down here? Down, yeah. Good boy ending. We're such good boys. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. God, there's so many, like, tempting offers, like, escape. I know. Save yourself. Okay, good boy. We're good boys. Go, 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 Just go, two go, boys go, being boy. good over here. So this is where you press stop. This is where I was trying to be good, and I accidentally messed up. I turn it off, right? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I turned it on last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We did the good boy. 100%. One good boy, right? That's the one he wanted. That was the story he wanted to tell. Of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. You did it. That's pretty. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before Are you him. not controlling this anymore? This was exactly <laughs> the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> exactly the way things meant to happen. We did it. We, we, we found the story, bro. <laughs> wow, that was that was pretty simple. Now for a chaos ending. <laughs> That's a little more lifestyle. Workers, well, wait, no, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? What? What is he saying? He says this isn't the right office. This is Stanley's this office. Sound. Right? Is there anything in I that room? It. The heck? What was that noise? 
<laughs> no idea. Did you hear that noise? Yeah. The heck? Badly and well. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Stanley took the first <laughs> open door on his left. Mm, nope. Have we ever gone straight through that? I do well, remember we, yeah, we got to the part where he like Stanley gave us a so phone, following directions. and, and we we're supposed to answer it, five years ago. but we never answered it. Do you think we could jump? Look, Stanley, I think yeah, perhaps we've gone maybe. Off on the wrong foot. Oh, Do you want to try that? I'm not Dude. Sure me, really, I'm not. Do you want to try that? I realize that Do it! Do it! Your trust in someone else ah! control, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thanks, man. <laughs> okay, well, now we know Wait, this is different. Oh my gosh. What the? It changed. What? This is different. It's totally different. What the heck? Okay. Oh, we're just back here. Oh, they just give us a little shortcut, when maybe. Came to a set of two open doors okay, go to the employee well. lounge, Perhaps go through it, the ignore the left room, wow. go yes. across the this warehouse. Then we go the into the warehouse, we go across, we answer the phone, and... and Talk to our wife, right? Stan yeah. So I almost wonder how do they the get those boxes at the, the very top? Been about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, that's a giant forklift. Like they can reach it. <laughs> Not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. <laughs> She's been waiting. <laughs> That's her, Stanley. <laughs> you need to be the one to do this. To okay. reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Ooh, that's not really a her, is it? Ooh. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, jeez. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. <laughs> Sorry, but oh. you're in my story now. Oh. Whoa! Shoot! Oh, okay. Jeez. Ah. <laughs> this is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good morning, employee. Press two on your keyboard. You gonna do Stanley it? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Where's the TV? Is that it? And so he began to <coughs> fantasize about his own job. What? First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend time with the boys. What's going on? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. What's out that he door? Her dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy, Ew. 
He began to fill what it with many heck? possible paths and destinations. This is slowly becoming our office. Down one path lay an enormous oh. round room, and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. It is. And down another was a game. Oh my gosh. Bed, and he called it the Stanley Parable. <laughs> It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, perhaps if he played just one more time. Press you to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. If you're deaf. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The oh, longer man. he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Tea to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh my Press gosh. Man. Now what do we do? <laughs> there's no we don't way. have a choice. There's no good guy route. <laughs> there's no choice. I guess I'm hitting M. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? <laughs> Press G to question nothing. Oh, this is disappointing. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. Maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Ooh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh no. Were you ever able to press anything different? I didn't try. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wanted to see what was at the end, too. I think that's an episode. Thanks, guys, for watching Stanley Parable. We enjoy this game a lot. Give us a like and a follow. If you want us to play more. There's too much. We got to find everything. Ugh, it's so but addicting. Yeah. EVG out, guys.